our boy here, JR from none other than Terran's World, man. Terran Tactical. We met JR, what, over a year ago now? Yeah. Become yeah, friends. They've just introduced a crazy new 2011, which John and I are going to test out in a little bit here. But JR, man, good to see you again, hey, brother. It's good to see you, man. Glad you made it out. Even if you are a little late. A little yeah, it's bit. Cool. Yeah. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. So, Sherman's not going to use his mic. I'm going to use my mic so we can hear where JR is. I don't want to use the mic because I do this sh enough. <laughs> no one wants to hear what I'm saying anyway, so it's all right. No, no. So, so JR, JR, I want to I wanna jump straight into this new Okay, go. Though. There's a lot of excitement about this. It, it's been all over Instagram, guys. You saw Taryn take it out this huge, massive case, a custom case, revealing it to the gun world. Yep. Why? What is this thing? What's unique from this versus the other new pistols you guys just released a couple mm -hmm, months ago mm -hmm. that we actually got a chance to shoot? Right. Break it down for us. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. So uh, the last pistol we released in like a 2011 format, we kind of did them at the same time. Uh, it was a sight block, which is an updated version of like the John Wick three gun, yep. right? So the the end, um, uh, the end where the the sight is, is kind of static. So here you can see that uh, the comp doesn't move on this. Mm -hmm. So that's the same thing as a sight block. So it's got the static front sight on the front with no comp or anything, right? Yep. So the front sight kind of tracks a little easier, mm -hmm. okay, less felt recoil. Uh, the other gun we released is uh, kind of like an open gun called the Alpha. It's a two port comp, uh, slide ride, but it's also set up for a frame mount. Wow. So we decided to take it a step further. We really wanted to, uh, you know, two gun and uh, multi-gun stuff. Uh, it's really popular right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, sometimes the Alpha, you know, you need special holsters for open guns yep. and stuff like that. So we wanted something that would fit in just about any any holster so we decided to come out with this um, it's a rmr cut and you can see it's all the way back and super deep so that way the the sro is just barely like almost sitting I mean, on the top is, right yeah. touching it almost. so yeah. low parallax i mean it's it's zeroed from like close to however out right mm -hmm. i mean you really don't have to make much of an adjustment a uh, deep single port comp so it actually works and these little side vents here are you know just enough to bleed out a little bit mm -hmm. so that way you know it's not just aesthetics but it's actually working uh, so it's five inches overall uh, fits in most standard holsters that we've tried to, to play with Comes from uh, comes from our factory at 1.8 to 2.2 pounds on all the triggers. Wow. Uh, we touch every single one, um, and yeah, this is the new Sound Viper, man. Uh, totally different color scheme than what we're used to from mm -hmm. from TTI. Usually it's all black, yep, you know, maybe yep. with some gold highlights and whatnot. This time we decided to go a completely different route, and it's just taken off by fire right now. And so it's kind of like a dark burnt bronzish type, type of look. And if someone wants to buy this, what are we looking at cost wise? What comes with it? What's Usually included? I ask that question. I know, right? Here he is. It's because he just bought a car, right? <laughs> so exactly. he's got to bring yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah. He's got to get another one, and that's okay. That is okay. Thank you, Jim. Hey, you know, I, all I my stuff out here. Gotta throw it out there. <laughs> uh, it's just because I'm a little jelly. That's all. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so from TTI, the gun is 69.99 with three mags. It comes mm -hmm, with one mm -hmm. 170 mag and two 140s uh, with our base pads. You get the option of which magwell you want. This is for the competition boys. This is our big competition magwell. Mm -hmm. And then we have two smaller sizes. We've got the classic and the compact. I mean, if you want to carry a 2011, you know, a baller 2011, you totally can. Ooh, um, I do. John does. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So do also comes uh, with these. Uh, so this is one of Terrence's features that he really likes. So his competition guns always feel really good. People kind of pick them up and they're great. Normally what the competition guys do is they'll pin yep, yep. the safety back here and then they'll shave down what like, you know, like the memory bump mm -hmm. as, as, as we call it. Um, so that way they can get, you know, like a high purchase and it just makes it blended a lot nicer. So we found a way to blend it with it still being activated. So you can see that that safety still works, right, but you just right. barely get your hand on it and then we're good to go. Mm. So that's a really nice feature that you normally don't see on anything else. So you don't have to pin it. Uh, you competition boys can still do it, uh, but for everyone else that wants the, uh, you know, a really nice feel, mm -hmm. but with a, a safety that actually works, yeah. this is it. I love this thing, man. I mean, guys, by the way, you know, some people are probably gonna be wondering about the cost, like, oh, this is really expensive. But if you look at other pistols in this line, they're all the same price. They're literally all the same price. So it's really a matter of if you're going to buy a different manufacturer whose name I won't say, but they also make some pretty good pistols, mm -hmm. or do you want this? And I don't know, we're gonna find out, JR, if we actually want this. Well, <laughs> well just uh, another fun fact for you is, um, this the second prototype of this actually won PCC Two Gun Nationals last year. So there Max Lou Grandis had it in the raw. We had it bagged the entire time. You know, we couldn't release pictures or videos because we were in development of this. So we've been in development for well over a year. Mm -hmm. But the second prototype won PCC Two Gun Nationals. So already. there you go. It's already, yeah, it's already, it's already proven. So it's already, it's already a proven pistol. You should yeah. get it if you can afford it. Get it because I think I'm gonna get one. Yeah, Maybe yeah. two. And listen, you need a backup and, gun. Two, two for John. <laughs> hey, hey, one hey, for John. Okay, all right. One Every, for anything that comes to guns out comes in twos. That's right. Just one putting for it out me, there for everybody that didn't already know that. But um, but yeah, now we can't wait to put rounds down range on this thing. 
thing, man. We saw Terrence do it in the video, and I yep. mean this, you that know, nice. we I've already said Terran makes every gun look like a shooting flat just because it's command Definitely and control does. of these pistols. But this looked different, guys. And if it looked different when Terran was shooting it, I can't wait to see what it looks like when I shoot it. It's gonna be crazy. You're gonna so, love it. So real quick, JR, what can we expect from Terran from the team? in the future this year, next year, what are we looking at? So we've got a lot of new products already. Um, we actually dropped three guns almost at the same time. Uh, so we also have, a, a, we teamed up with V7 to come out with an AR-10. Mm -hmm. So that's super lightweight too. Uh, it's uh, just over seven pounds with no glass on it. Which, so wow. it's crazy light, runs super reliable, super fast, uh, high profile trigger in those. So it mm -hmm. comes standard with some really cool features. Mm -hmm. uh, we also just released a brand new PCC. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that one is just over six pounds with no glass. Uh, comes standard with a car carbon fiber handguard, mm -hmm. high profile eclipse Very trigger, nice. and Very a really nice. cool feature is it's um, the barrel from that one is one entire piece. Mm -hmm. So there's no pinning so and no welding of anything, weld anything. Just yeah. over 16 inches. It allowed us to go tighter on the tolerances with the comp. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, Zach and I didn't believe it, but we bagged it and were able to get one MOA out of a nine millimeter barrel. Oh, it's wow. crazy insane. Wow. So and it's not just for the competition nerds, right? So what makes a good blowback run well is short stroking it. Mm -hmm. But then you lose a lot of the features that everyone wants, like last round bolt hold open. Well, we have both features. Mm -hmm. And to my knowledge, we're the only ones that are really doing that successfully. It runs everything, man. We even pulled the extractor out and the gun still runs. Oh, wow. Zach actually won a match with a broken extractor. And he aesthetics. knew it was broken, but he was like, you know what? So, Let's so try it. Aesthetics, it's lightweight, yeah. it's fast. Yeah. I mean, it's- And it, clearly it, can it, function without some of the parts. Yeah, I don't minor think it details. gets any better than that, I mean, man. really, you have no excuse not to win after that, guys. Takes Glock mags. Um, so uh, yeah, everyone loves it. Super lightweight. It's not just for the competition guys. We've gotten it in the hands of some tactical guys, and they love it. It's got standard threads on the end for an oil filter. When things get dirty, you know, yeah. you can- you gotta clean it out. You gotta yeah, throw a little solvent in there, you know? <laughs> All this talk about how amazing they are, we gotta go put we rounds, go man. So out, let's, let's go listen, shoot. Let's go get on the range, guys, so we can show you what these guns do, all right? This gun just shot itself. I was just holding it, guys. I was just holding it, and it shot itself. All right, this is like <laughs> stupid flat. I mean, crazy, crazy flat. I have 2011s, and I want this. Where is, I, I need this. Yeah, I need this. I need it. I need it with rounds in the mag. I might know a guy. I think you do. I might know a guy. Yeah, yeah. I need Come this. On. Mag me. Somebody mag me. <laughs> oh my lord, this is gonna be great. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's nice. I cannot wait. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> my bad. I didn't know. I wasn't counting. He knew. I know he knew. I know he knew. He was like, oh yeah, oh here, John. Here, here you go. One good double tap. You're ugly. Hey, as far as 2011s go, I mean, like, like Sherm always said, we're 2011 guys. Uh, we both run staccatos. We love 2011 platform. Terran has taken this to a whole nother level. A whole nother level. Everything from the aesthetics to the grip to the trigger, which is crazy. The SRO, so low. I mean, this thing is, is built to win. This is built to win. The crazy thing about that is that Terran not only knows how to make it aesthetically pleasing to the eyes, but the performance behind it, when because he's such a shooter himself yeah. as well, he's built that all into there. So yeah. that's pretty awesome that you called that all out. Hey, listen, so, gun science. Gun science. It's gun like science, that. guys. It that's not only up. shoots for yourself by, your, by itself, <laughs> it'll throw magnetic bullets in there. And hit hey, any man, thing this thing shoot. could probably curve bullets, guys. <laughs> this could probably like do. The matrix like no, no, like, uh, what's that? Wanted. 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 Yes, yeah. wanted. This could probably curve bullets. This will be the first one, Taryn. You did it, man. <laughs>